Hi friends, Mrs. Ramirez here. Today we are making a craft to go with our book, A House for Hermit Craft. For our craft, we are going to need a paper plate, construction paper, any color that you want, watercolors to paint your paint, paint your plate, or you can use markers, crayons, color pencils, anything you have at home. We'll need red paint to make a handprint. If you don't have paint, you can always trace your hand and then color it in. And you'll also need stuff to decorate your shell. I found things that were just in the house. We found some stickers, some glitter, a piece of paper that I cut into a starfish, some different color string, and lots of different colored beads. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your construction paper and you're going to make your handprint. And we have to remember to keep it on the side because we're going to put our plate here for his shell and you want to be able to still see the hand. With my shell, I used watercolors and painted it. And then we need to draw a line where we're going to cut the opening of the shell. And I'm going to get my scissors. Remember, we hold our scissors like this. Then we're going to cut the line we drew. And if you need help, you can ask for help. But we always have to try first. After you cut, you're going to glue it on to your crab. Now in school, we always say to use a little glue, but for this project, we need lots of glue. And we're going to put it right onto our crab and these are going to be his legs and this is his hand, his head for his head you want to make his eyes because remember his eyes come up so you're going to use your paint to make his eyes and we're going to make them up like this and a circle like that. Then we can start decorating. So you want to put glue in the spots that you want to put your decorations. And I'm just going to put them in different places. I'm putting my starfish and I'll put some string. And this can be like the anemone that we saw in our story. And some things are going to need more glue than others. We'll put that and we'll put a few beads and then we'll add a couple stickers. And with my beads, I'm also going to use them to make his eyes. You can draw his eyes once the paint drops. Once the paint is dry, or you can just add something that you found at home. And we'll put a little bit of glitter. Now I'm going to use two beads for his eyes. Then, I'm going to make his facial expression. My camera pad is smiling. And there we have it. Can't wait to see yours. Bye.